And we're here with Bill Miller with U.S. Premium Beef at the uh, National Cattlemen's Beef Association meeting and the trade show here at the at the U.S. Premium Beef exhibit and looking at some of the some of the nice cuts of beef that they have uh, here at the show. But Bill, I just wanted to kind of get an update on what's happening with with U.S. Premium Beef and a little bit of background maybe on uh, on, on the, the ownership and the, the involvement of producers in in the organization and how some of that works. John, it's great to see you. This this is, as you know, a really big show and a, and a great show, and we're we're so happy to get to display some of the products that our producers produce for our company. Um, U.S. Premium Beef continues to be an owner in National Beef Packing Company, the fourth largest packer in the United States. We did sell a, an interest in National Beef, 79% uh, uh, ownership in National Beef uh, at the end of the year. Um, however, we still own uh, uh, about four times the amount of beef processing that we owned when we started our company in 1997. So, uh, not to sound uh, cliche, but it is business as usual at U.S. Premium Beef. We, we continue to get new producers to, uh, to market cattle on our grids. Uh, our, uh, our grids haven't changed, how we negotiate our grids, etc. The number of cattle we market, that's all uh, stayed the same. And, uh, and we still have that direct link between consumers and our producers, uh, uh, rewarding them for what they're producing. With the uh, kind of cattle prices that we've seen over, over the past year and the, and the premiums for some of the, the higher quality beef and beef that comes with uh, your cattle that come with some verification for, for quality and all that, I imagine that uh, that's probably paid off pretty well for some of your members. It really has, John. This last fiscal year, we, we set another record for per head grid premiums that they've earned by producing higher quality cattle. And our grids reward uh, choice and higher quality product. Um, interestingly, when we started our company, we probably uh, produced somewhere around 50% choice. Today, uh, this last fiscal year, that was in the mid 70s percent choice. We, we incented producers to produce what consumers told us they wanted, and that is a, high, a, a choice quality product. Um, so they, they responded by producing more of that. We actually averaged uh, between, uh, well, a little over $42 per head this last fiscal year's year in grid premiums. And that was above and beyond the, uh, the $35 we still pay for age-verified cattle that are age-verified at 21 months or younger for the Japanese market. So there's a lot of financial incentive there to, to produce what consumers want. Well, that's good to hear. And I, I guess then that uh, U.S. premium beef is pretty active in the, in the export market as well. We are. We've had a, a very good year exporting product, much like our industry as a whole. I think, uh, you know, beyond U.S. premium beef, and we're certainly a, a big part of that, but overall, uh, the Meat Export Federation told me earlier this week that beef exports added a little over $200 per fed animal last year. Uh, just incredible the importance of exports to our business uh, and to our producers' markets, to their livelihood. So uh, yes, we, we export a lot of product, it's very important to us.